with an FC TV with Aaron Racine ahead of the playoff final against Braintree Town in the National League South. Aaron, how are you feeling going into it? I'm looking forward to it, yeah. uh, excited, uh, just eager for it to get going now. It's uh, obviously a massive occasion for everyone involved in the club. How are you feeling with uh, the measure of the game? Yeah, I think it's obviously a big game, not on the highway from that. I think the boys know that. It's just one of the ones I think you just have to take it by the horns, all the pressures and all the, the environment and, and just uh, stick to what we do. As the manager now, how are you handling that yourself and how are you finding the players handling it going into it? No, I think I think the boys are like, confident but not too confident. Um, myself, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm just eager to, to get it going, just implement what we've been working on training. Um, yeah, just, just hope to get a result. You mentioned the semi-final, how you found it almost a little bit easier being a manager compared to when you were a player in these sort of games. Are you still feeling that way now? I think so, yeah. I think I think I think as a manager you've got time to prep in the build-up. And I think a lot of your work's done in the build-up rather than on match day. Um, whereas as a player I think all your work is on the build-up, but also on match day is very important for them. So I think that's pretty wise different kind of pressure um, on match days. But yeah, still, there's still uh, a form of pressure uh, going into it, um, but again, it's just a case of just sort of embracing it and um, soaking it up, really. Guys like yourself and Darren, and even a couple of the boys in the squad, like Joel and Ollie, uh, who've been around at this football club for such a long time and been up the leagues with the team, is there any extra significance to what Monday could bring? Um, I think, it'll be, I think it's, it'll be a bit more special for the boys that have been here for the whole journey, um, from Dan from the Ishman Prem and, and the County Cup final win, and then potentially you know, playing the final on Monday and then um, maybe getting a good result then. I think it'll be a lot more, it might, it might mean something different to them, but I think we've got a team full of like, winners and ambitious players who want to go and play as high as they can with, with this club and or someone else. So I think as a collective, um, it'll mean a lot to everyone. Significance of it, we've mentioned already, but around the fan base as well, we, we've seen the excitement about people wanting to come, the disappointment that some have missed out on tickets, which is a massive shame. But the interesting football club going into Monday is just something like we've never seen before. Yeah, I know, exactly. It's one of those, um, it's, it's an exciting time for the club, I've said it before. It's just, now this is like a stepping stone, I think, in terms of like, we've, we've, we know what what's capable in terms of like the fan base and numbers. And that's a case of trying to maybe get these sort of numbers on a regular basis for next year. Looking at our opponents on Monday, Braintree, we've obviously met them a couple of times this season, didn't quite come on the right end of the result. Is there anything we've been learning from those two previous meetings? Um, yeah, I've, I've only seen them um, through the analysis on clips, so I wasn't part of them in terms of playing. I missed both of them, so um, I've looked at them and it's just a case, of, again, just seeing Implement what we do well at the moment and try to stick to that on the, on the day of the game and obviously just being wary of, of their threats and that's from what I've seen on the analysis and the feedback from the team etc so yeah. And a good side as well, there's no getting away from that too, pretty good sides going up against each other on Monday. Yeah brilliant, I think I think um, they're, they're a great side and they've hit some really good form back end of the season, on top of that they beat us twice this year so I think with those two factors you're not, you're not a bad side um, and with us we finish higher than them and we've got the home advantage so I think on the day it's, it's literally 50-50 um, and I think it'll be a really competitive game. Absolutely. Uh, looking around the crowds and everything like that you mentioned the significance of that and it seemed like for the players it was a pretty big deal on the semi-final as well. What's the feeling going into that for Monday? The importance of that having the fan base around you on Monday? Yeah again I, I think I, I sound like a parrot now I say it all the time but obviously fans play a big part in, in every team's success. Um, but the key moments in games when you're under the cosh and you're, uh, the team's stressed because they've got a bit of pressure on them, whatever it may be, I think that's the moment when fans really need to step up and try and get behind them to, um, that old cliche, be that 12th man. Um, and that's what our fans do, they do really well, so just one more game of that. And just to close out, looking at the team news, is everyone still available going into my Yep, everyone's fit and uh, ready to go.